Hi, I'm Nicole for Sure Shake Habs, and I'm here with Trixie's Mr. Brown. I'm just going to do a quick video on him. Just going to show um, show you how he's doing in training. There we go. He's just a little teeny guy. So the first thing is I'm going to show him hot dogs. Let's go. Good boy. Good boy. No jump in. There you go. Now when I walk, he needs to stay on my left side. When I stop walking, he's supposed to auto sit. Good boy. He's still good boy. He's still getting a lot of lures. There you go. That was better. He's still getting a lot of lures, but as you can see, he actually does understand it. Good boy. Good boy. The biggest thing is that he doesn't walk under my feet. Let's go. It's no auto sit unless I stop walking. Come on. There you go. There you go. Good boy. Good boy. But he does understand the concept. He's not perfect at it yet, but he's still just a teeny little baby. Good boy. Right here. Place. Good. So place is something we tell them place. They get up on the cot, and they're supposed to stay on the cot until we say so. Overall, he actually does quite well. Come on. Over this side. There you go. And I want him to understand he can walk around on the cot. It's different than stay. Stay, he has to stay in a sit or stay in a down. With place, I tell him place, and he just has to stay on the cot. He can do whatever he wants on there as long as he stays on it. Okay, until I tell him his release word. Good job, good boy, good boy. Let's go. Good boy. All right, let's see. Sit, good. He is understanding sit for the most part. I have to make sure he's focused. Good boy. But he does understand the hand signal with the word. Stay. Now this is something a little bit new. Good boy. Good boy. Stay. And when he's focused, like right now, okay, he does really well. Good boy. Good boy. He can do the sit stay. It's just length of the leash pretty much right now. Here, turn around. Now this is the tricky one. Down. Good. Uh -uh. So with down, he, this is something new. Down is hardest for them to learn in the beginning. Down. Good. Good boy. The idea right now is I simply want him to hold down before I tell him stay. Good. Good boy. Good down. Good boy. Okay. Good boy. So he can't do a long down. I was able to earlier today when I did a training session, I was actually able to stand all the way upright and he stayed in a down. I don't think he'll do that now, but let's just see. Down. Good. Uh -uh. Down. So even if he sits up, it's hard because he's so short to begin with. But if he sits up, uh -uh, I have to correct him and put him back down. Correction is just a little tug on the leash. Good. Down. Uh -uh. Down. Good. Uh -uh. It could be if I'm talking, it could distract him. Down. Good. Good boy. That's what I want. I want to be able to stand all the way upright. Okay. Good boy. Good boy. Very good boy. I want to be able to stand all the way upright and even take one step back. Good. Kennel. Good boy. So Kennel going in, he does go in nicely on his own. Um, I don't have to push him in or pull him in or anything, but he does have to follow that hot dog to go in. He doesn't understand that's what I want him to do yet, but he follows the hot dog nicely. Now, waiting at the door, he's actually fairly good at. Good boy. He's not supposed to leave this kennel until I ask him. Good boy. Okay. Good boy. Good boy. Now, when he gets older, or the older he gets, the further away from the kennel I'll be able to move. Same thing with stay and place and things like that. But as you can see, except for going down um, and going into the kennel where he really needs that lure, with everything else, he actually is starting to understand it. And so he's going to make amazing progress in the next week or two. Yes, you will. And that is a short training video of Trixie's Mr. Brown. Thank you so much.